I don't know how I'm going to fit all this in here. I got too many complaints. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, yeah. What's up, party people? It's your boy, Neek, here, me in the movies. And tonight, he comes home, possibly for the final cinematic outing. Our boy, Mike. Oh, yeah. All right, y'all, it's Halloween time. Focus on the brother you see in front of you. Yeah, it's time for Halloween. Oh, my God. I'm so frustrated because this AMC theater, they don't got the poster for the movie nowhere. You know, that's my biggest pet peeve is when they take away the poster for the movie you're going to see. It's like they got every movie here except the movie you're going to see. Like, where's the poster for this damn movie? Anyways, um... Yeah, it's Halloween time, y'all. It's time to get out and see Jamie Lee Curtis. 40 years later, they did this 20 years ago. Why they doing it again, who knows. But Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. This may be the last cinematic outing, cinematic bloodletting of Mr. Michael Myers, Michael Audrey Myers. But uh, here we go, y'all. Here we go. Halloween. 40 years in the making. I'm a little perturbed. Let's go. And here we go. Talk about major disappointment. This movie was so whack. Halloween 2018. Horrible. Whack, 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 whack. Michael Myers' last cinematic outing after 40 years is a big piece of dud shit. It was whack, whack, whack. They made fucking Halloween a comedy. Oh my god. They made it a fucking comedy. N not one likable character. Lori Strode is not even likable. Oh my God. Her daughter, her daughter is very unlikable. The only likable character is the granddaughter. Oh my. It, they made it a fucking comedy. They made Halloween a fucking comedy. How could you? Uh, further thoughts, further thoughts, further thoughts. I'm, I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. I must smoke a blunt. I must smoke a blunt. Oh my god. The only suspenseful part... There was no suspenseful part. They ripped off Halloween 5 with the climax. They was more prepared with Halloween 5. Uh, they, they ripped off Halloween 4. And a, they, they, yeah, actually, they, Oh my god. They ripped off Halloween 4. They ripped off Halloween 5. He, he supposedly died in fire like Halloween 2. It's just so unoriginal, so unoriginal. Oh my God, this remake, this reboot was so terrible. Oh my God. It just, the, oh my, and the worst part, the worst part, the worst part of the movie is the new Loomis. They actually call him that. Lori Stroll actually calls him the new Loomis. And this new Loomis does something so fucking stupid in this movie that I was just completely checked out from that point on. I, oh my God. This is like, this is the year's biggest disappointment. Oh my God. I waited f Oh. I, I vividly remember 1988. 1988, Halloween 4 came out, and I was, what, 11 years old. And that shit was beautiful. This shit was whack as fuck. Oh, my God. 
I remember 19, 1988. Parents divorce over my mom's house for, for the weekend. Got there on a Friday night. The only thing I wanted to do was go to the movies to see Halloween 4. And we didn't that night because of a whatever situation. And I was pissed. And for 30 years after that, to see this reboot, remake, and it's horribly whack. Oh my God, I cannot believe this shit. <sighs> they made Michael seem stupid. They made everything in this movie seem stupid. Ugh. I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. So disappointed. Oh God. I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. Mm, mm, mm. I just, I'm looking for answers and I can't find none. <sighs> AMC, AMC. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? <sighs> Unfortunately, y'all, no good. No good. This was terrible, man. Um, they ripped off the sequels instead of paying homage to it, which was a shame. It's a shame. They ripped off Halloween 4 with Michael breaking out, out of the uh, restraints of the bus, but he, he broke out the ambulance. They ripped off Halloween 4 because he killed the mechanic and got, got the jumpsuit, whatever. Um, yeah, and then they ripped off Halloween 5 with the house at the end. Um, the new Loomis destroyed the movie. He, he killed the movie, the, the new Loomis character. And what he and what he did and everything like that. Um, yeah, this movie was just terrible, dude. It was absolutely terrible. The score was terrible because they only used the original score at one point in the movie, and it was just out of the blue. Um, and the little substitute score was terrible. Everything about this movie was dumb. They, it, they, they even kind of rip off the the reboot with the, the the weathered mask and everything like that. So it's like they do everything but pay respect to the sequels and the reboot. And, and the whole thing with Lori being Michael Myers' sister adds more interest, you know, motivation for Michael wanting to kill her. If she's just a regular chick, then why is he gunning after her just because she got away? It just doesn't make any sense. Letting, letting Lori Stroll's granddaughter get away when he's just inches away from her in the police car, it, it made no sense whatsoever. It made no sense whatsoever. Uh, they made this a comedy. Yeah, the little, the little moment with the, with the kid being babysitted, um, ba babysat or whatever, the little black kid. Yeah, that was funny. But it made this movie a comedy. People was laughing through the whole movie. Halloween is not a comedy, y'all. It's not a comedy. Ugh. So sad. So sad. See you, Michael. Love you all these years since 78. Just too bad. Too bad. They, they destroyed this movie by ripping off the sequels and not paying respect to them by disassociating themselves with it. Jamie Lee Curtis goes in for another cash grab. So sad, so sad. Yeah, so one of the worst aspects of this movie is the script, and more specifically, the male characters that are written, that are represented in this movie. Dude, why did y'all make the male character so stupid? So Laurie Stroh's granddaughter has a boyfriend who has, who, who secretly, he likes to cross-dress, the, the boyfriend is, is, he, is emotionally erratic because as soon as he gets busted kissing some other girl, he gets like kind of like aggressive and violent in a way, tossing the, the phone away. And another thing about this movie, this movie refuses to acknowledge technology and social media. It, it does away with social media and technology and cell phones just like in an instant, just like real stupid. Like, I'm sorry, but Michael Myers coming back to Haddonfield after 40 years, the town police should have rushed the town like like it was Patriots Day in Boston with the Boston bomber. They should have been prepared for this. Everybody was like, huh, what's going on? Oh, that guy that killed somebody 40 years ago, he's back again? Oh, okay. It's like, Michael Myers got loose in the daytime, and, you, and yet y'all still let y'all kids go trick-or-treating in the same town. It made no fucking sense whatsoever. It's like, why, why, did, why did we have a bunch of androgynous teenage boys um, and, and dumb cops. I'm sorry, Will Patton couldn't possibly been a cop that night. 
You know, is he that much older than Laurie Strode, than Jamie Lee Curtis? I'm going to have to look that up. Will Patton is not that much older than Jamie Lee Curtis for him to be a cop that same night on Halloween. No, he wasn't. No. Will Patton's first role was not in Halloween. At least I don't think so. Let me check IMDb. This movie was stupid, dude. Especially that new Dr. Loomis character. Oh, my God. Okay. And then also, there's this third, like, best friend of, of the boyfriend who looks just like uh, Barb from Stranger Things while they need to do a movie together. That actor and the actress from Stranger Things need to do a movie together so fast. They could be brother and sister, like I don't know what. It's crazy. Um, this movie is stupid, dude. Halloween 2018 was dumb. Ugh. I hate to say it, that Kevin Williamson made a better script with Halloween 20 years later, H2O. It, it, that was a better script. I mean, it had a better climax or, you know, better do away with Michael. I mean, man, that ending with, with Laurie Strode chopping off the would-be Michael's head, that was emotional right there. That was very emotional. And to this very day, that's still one of the most classic endings of a horror movie. I, I give that movie respect for doing that. Um, but this shit was like, huh? It, it was just clunky. It was dumb. It, uh. Why were those characters so... I, I think I'm done. I think I'm done talking about... I was so disappointed watching this movie. It was like watching Venom. I was just like, these are dumb decisions. Michael wasn't interesting. It, all you need in a Halloween movie is Michael, the mask, and the score that John Carpenter made. All you need is the score. All you need is the score. This was like a, fa a fan film that was terrible. This was not a good movie. Yeah. It goes like this, Halloween, 1978. And then you got Rob Zombies. No, you got Halloween, 1978. Then you got the sequel. And then you got Rob Zombies, Halloween 2. This redeems, this redeems Rob Zombie because both his remake and the sequel were better than this shit. This movie was just as terrible as Halloween Resurrection and Jamie Lee Curtis was in that shit too and it's crazy like he Michael Myers killed Jamie Michael Myers killed Laurie Strode in that movie she's dead and that movie didn't need to exist any more than that because Michael Myers didn't have shit to do in the rest of that movie he got cussed out by Buster Rhymes I, <sighs> fucked up thing is this movie's gonna make a lot of money this weekend making th everybody think that this movie is good this movie is terrible dude the parody trailer that i just recently saw is 10 times better than this movie i'm so disappointed dog i'm i want to cry Wow, pitch black, huh? Change that. Yo, so... I thought this movie was going to be dope because 
man, I, I was like, oh, Michael. There was one kill in this movie that was like, oh, Michael, you motherfucker. Michael killed a kid. One of the first kills of the movie. And I thought that was going to set the tone for this film. But it floundered afterwards. But yo, for real, I was like, whoa, they're really going for something here. But they immediately dropped the ball afterwards. Uh, they tried, uh, it was too much. Why does Laurie Strode have a mock up makeshift house of Michael's house? Why is she so, so affected by Michael Myers? that she decides to build a little house that he lived in, that she didn't live in, I think. Is that the reason why? Yeah. Um, still. The kid getting killed was dope. Yeah, well, technically, the, one of the problems of the movie was the pacing and the editing. I'm sorry, but when Michael gets his mask... It goes straight, it, it goes, when Michael finally does get his mask, he puts it on, and I swear it's almost like a jump cut to nighttime. And no, you gotta explain. Michael kills some people in a town gas station during the daytime, and then it's nighttime and kids are out trick-or-treating. How? Wh how is the town not immediately alerted? the county sheriff is going to get fired because he didn't alert the public fast enough that 40 years ago, this serial killer is back and killing on the same night. And y'all didn't do nothing other than show up when people got, after people got killed. This movie is stupid. The movie is stupid. The script is stupid. I don't know how I'm going to fit all this in here. I got too many complaints.